fisherman, a natural scientist. It is an ancient science. Nature is the mother, teacher, business partner, and also the grim reaper. As nourishing as she can be, she can also be as cruel and unforgiving. It can be a life and death situation at high sea or during cyclone. But it is humbling factor for those who take her on. With increasing access to technological advancements, they're able to blend their ancient sciences and the new to tackle some of their issues. Upara is a fishing community with around 13,000 inhabitants. This community has changed considerably over time, but not their methods. They have upgraded their fishing gear over time. When nature decides to take them on, it's only the hatched roof huts and the trees that are left to protect them from her fury. One of the major issues is sea erosion. It destroys the homes, cultivated lands and valuable but basic property. Sea erosion reduces space for living and stylized freshwater sources for fisheries. Due to erosion, we lost 1000 kilometers of land, 4 kilometers of village, and 450 years historical temples and three travelers bungalows. This is Samudrum Kwatawala, Machikarlu, Chala Ibandru Portunaru. We have a Sai Rai Drukoda, Upuniru, Palala Kochi, Chala Nastapotunar, Chana Kalambati, Bandra Laga Portunar. Vere Uri Lupoda and Nenean Kochi, Yavaran Jesi, Kani, Mali, Akali one sort of Alos and Ostundagabati, Mali Samudranki, Anakatu, Vialene Alochana. As the response from government has been lukewarm, we held meetings with MPTC members and used to tape about every loss of the village to make an issue. Finally, we got the result in the form of rubble mound sea walls with geo tube technology and also we survived from tsunami with minor damages. Cyclones are the major contributors of beach erosion. To reduce impact of cyclones, the villagers planted casuarina trees near the shore. Nature makes them suffer, but nature always has a solution to the problem that it creates. The reason why the fishermen are natural scientists is because they're able to find solutions within the problem that nature has created for them. The sea wall is not only an embankment between the people and the sea, but also a bridge between with nature. A person who would challenge nature would call it a truce, but for them, it's a small step for them to continue their way of living.